Most people are relatively familiar with end punctuation. And you often see in punctuation in advertising used to create special effects. Let's take a closer look. You have a choice to make. Where can you turn for advice? Ask our experts today. All of these sentences use in punctuation. Let's take a closer look. In punctuation tells us how to read a sentence. Do we read it as a matter of fact statement? Do we read it as a question? Or do we read it as an enthusiastic exclamation? In punctuation tells us the answer. Let's start with periods. A period is used to close sentences that make statements or give mild commands. Look at the example here by Amy Lowell. All books are either dreams or swords. That sentence makes a statement. A period for the end punctuation is just fine. The next example from George Orwell, don't use a fancy word if a simpler word will do, that's a very mild command telling the reader not to do something, but telling it very mildly and matter-of-factly, in which case a period works perfectly fine. A period also closes an indirect question. An indirect question reports rather than asks questions. Here's the example. I asked how old the child was. It isn't a question. It's saying that there was a question asked. It's an indirect question, in which case it doesn't get ended with a question mark. It can end with a period. Periods in American English are often used with abbreviations. For example, Mr., Mrs., Junior, Senator. But a lot of times, in more modern English, you see a lot more abbreviations appearing without periods. Look at the examples that I have here. MD almost always used to appear with periods, not so much anymore. PhD, the same thing. There are some that can go either way. BCE can be, can be typed with or without the periods. So can AD or PM, and of course AM as well. I just use PM as an example. Periods, even though they are used with a lot of abbreviations, there are some that are never used with periods. These include postal abbreviations of state names, such as FL for Florida and TN for Tennessee, and most groups of initials like GE, CIA, AIDS, YMCA, UNICEF. These abbreviations don't use periods. If you're not sure about whether or not a particular abbreviation needs periods, check a dictionary, or if you're doing a particular kind of research paper, follow the style guidelines of whatever type of format you're using. Now, here's something that's an important thing to note. If you're ending a sentence with an abbreviation that has its own period, don't put another period behind it. Look at the example here. The social worker referred me, referred me to John Pence, Jr. Jr. already ends with a period, so there's no need to put another period at the end of the sentence. One will do just fine. Let's talk about question marks now. Question marks close sentences that ask direct questions. Look at the example. This is uh, from a book by Kathleen Stossenberger and Ross A. Thompson, who do a lot of research into uh, mental development. And here's a question. How is the human mind like a computer, and how is it different? Those are direct questions, so that sentence needs to end with a question mark. Question marks do not close indirect questions, which report rather than ask questions. We talked about those once already. They end with a period. So here's our indirect question. She asked whether I opposed his nomination. It doesn't ask a question. It just reports that a question was asked. So we would use a period in this case instead of a question mark. Exclamation points are used to show strong emotion or surprise. Look at the example here. In those few moments of geologic time will be the story of all that has happened since we became a nation. And what a story it will be. Now that's going to show some strong emotion. Another example, this university is so large, so varied, that attempting to tell someone about it would take three years. Again, strong emotion. 
I do want to caution you though, exclamation points should be used sparingly. It can be very distracting to your readers if exclamation points are all over the place. Or it can make them think that perhaps you are exaggerating. I'll sum up by saying that choosing the correct end punctuation is going to make your writing stronger and your message easier to understand. So it is important that you learn how to use these simple punctuation marks correctly. And I know that if you do, your writing will be better because of it.